Big news coming out of the city of Pittsburgh. The Steelers have hired a couple new coaches on the offensive side of the football within about the last hour or so. Welcome back to Mike Drop Sports, everybody. I'm Jason. The Steelers have made a couple more moves on the offensive side of the football. We have been talking about this. The Steelers have been interviewing guys, had serious interest in getting these guys in the building to add and bolster up this staff, to incorporate some more minds into this offense, to create a more special um, offense and score more points. A team that was lacking in 28th in the league in points scored. Uh, just a huge disappointment uh, for Mike Tomlin's offense over the last few years. And it's time now that the Steelers are really starting to pay attention to that side of the football. Let's start with the one that I really like the most. I think Tom Arth is going to be good for the quarterbacks. He now becomes the quarterbacks coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers, a guy that was in his second season as the Los Angeles Chargers passing game coordinator working with a guy like Justin Herbert. I think the Steelers now made a good move with him, bringing him in to work with Kenny Pickett and whoever else they pick up, hopefully maybe Mason Rudolph, um, but we will see how that transpires throughout this offseason when the Steelers do make a deal with another quarterback because I can say with certainty they will not roll into the season with just Kenny Pickett. Mike Tomlin seems now to be loosening up a little bit and taking some of the control out of his own hands and becoming more of a head coach instead of a dictator inside of that building with his coaching staff. A coaching staff that has had minimal people on it. Um, one of the smallest in the league, one of the least paid in the league, and now the Steelers are really trying to make some moves. So you add Tom Arth now as the quarterback's coach. Quality move. And then the Steelers turn over and add another guy. They add uh, Zach Azami. Now he is the wide receivers coach, taking the place uh, of a guy that had that room really failing here the last couple years. And now the Pittsburgh Steelers look to add a guy in Azami that could potentially pay big dividends for them. A guy that's a fresh face to rebuild that wide receiver room. I know a lot of people wanted to see somebody like a Heinz Ward, somebody like that, but I think this is a quality move with another young, talented guy on the offensive side of the football in the coaching world. A zombie, I think, is going to add some new spice to that room and hopefully get it back under control. You saw Frisbee Jackson lose control of that room last year, and now I think it's time that the Steelers just totally tear it down and restart coaching-wise, and I think they have done that. Arthur Smith adding quality young talent to his staff, and I think this is big. We talked about it earlier how Mike Tomlin should start letting some of this control go. I had a great comment from one of our guys, Nova Racer. He's talking about how uh, Mike Tomlin needs to let go of some of this control. And I perfectly agree. Or I agree with him. I think that this is a good thing that Mike Tomlin needed to do a long time ago. And that was loosen the reins on some of his control throughout the building. You have to allow your staff to do the jobs they were hired to do. And Mike Tomlin needs to stick with things that he knows, and that's defense, and allow this offense to flourish under a guy that has head coaching experience and experience being successful as an offensive coordinator in uh, Smith, and uh, Arthur Smith. And this is a big move for the Steelers. You don't typically see them do this kind of stuff. And now with these two great hires, in my opinion, I think these are solid, solid moves. Uh... I think this is a now a good sign. And if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers and you're a fan of that franchise, you realize that this team is now serious and committed more than probably ever to winning because they are showing you that and they haven't shown us that for a long time. That Steelers spirit is starting to shine back through with what this team is starting to do. It's really starting to take and pay attention to the to the deficiencies that they have and they're starting to try to correct that and they're starting to try to correct the balance within that locker room, balance within the position group rooms and bring it back under control to where now the coaches are in charge and and these guys are going to have to work with these new coaches and develop 
a new system, and these guys now don't have the time to go with the same plain Jane, Matt Canada bullshit. Now they have to work. Now they have a, an Arthur Smith offense that's being inserted to where now they have no choice but to focus and learn because they are learning a new offense. There is no time now for the bullshit and the drama, and this is exactly where we wanted this team to be. We wanted to see change. I know I had voiced that I was disappointed in the hire of Arthur Smith originally. I wasn't necessarily disappointed in Smith specifically. I just wanted to see the Steelers take a home run, go for the swing for the fences. And I think really after all this has played out, I think it's a great hire now because Arthur Smith is allowed to do the things that he needs to do in order to be successful. And we talked about that this morning. And now you see these hires coming in over and over, boom, boom, getting guys in the building, new faces, new ideas. It's, it can only spell positive things, guys. And this is big news. And this is probably the biggest news so far of the offseason, if you ask me, uh, along with Arthur Smith. This story of how this offense is transforming already with the coaching staff being in place now to really start to swing things in the right direction. News, though, is that they are trying trying to work on something with Mike Sullivan, the guy that helped Eddie Faulkner with the offense to call the plays in the final stretch of the season. You see now Mike Sullivan, supposedly, according to one of the Steelers insiders, the Steelers are trying to work something out with Sullivan to retain him on the staff in some sort of Oh, excuse me, of capacity, some way. They're trying to find some role for him, and I think that that's a good thing. I think that um, adding fresh to old and really trying to blend those together, I think, could be real positive, and I'm glad to see the Steelers really trying to make an effort to expand this coaching staff. It has needed to be done for so many years. And like I told you, I was talking about one of our commenters, and when, we were, uh, when he was talking about that, it's probably something that had to happen from above. Khan, Weidel, Rooney. These guys were probably really coming down on Mike Tomlin in a way like, hey, you're going to have to take your thumb off some of this. You're going to have to hire some new outside guys. Stop hiring and promoting from within to have the same stale message. You now have to uh, find some new fresh faces and bring these guys in and allow them to do their job and not micromanage them. And if you can't do that, I think our time is going to be coming soon to be at an end. And I think that Mike Tomlin realized the error of his ways, realized that he still wants to be a coach within the NFL and with the Pittsburgh Steelers and realizes that he has to change a little bit. A guy that's been in a position for a very long time, again, almost two decades, you have seen Mike Tomlin at the helm for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I think now, just now, he realizes the era of his ways and that he is willing to change. And I think that that could really make this work. And I have been a harsh, harsh, harsh opponent of Mike Tomlin for a long time now, uh, for at least this whole season, I've really bagged on Mike Tomlin and beyond. But I think now Mike Tomlin is showing some of that change, some of those things that we wanted to see him do. And I think that that can only be positive because he is um, the epitome of stability in in uh, terms of franchises in the NFL. He is the, the longest tenured head coach inside of the NFL right now, now that Bill Belichick is gone from the New England Patriots. Now you have Mike Tomlin in place as the guy that's been with his team the longest. And that, I think, means something, especially when you're willing to change. Because I think Bill got to the point that he wasn't willing to change. So now you see the Steelers changing, and that can only mean good things, especially with a coach that's been there for a long, long time. All right, guys, let's wrap it up. We'll talk more about Arth. We'll talk more about Azami. We will talk more about this uh, offensive coaching staff tomorrow in, uh, in our regular episode and on our live show tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on Mike Drop Sports for our Friday edition of our live show. I should be joined by Sean. We'll see. I'm not sure if he's working or not. We'll see. Um, if not, I'll be with you. 
but we will be here to talk and break these things down and really get into the nuts and bolts of these two new guys and what you think about Mike Sullivan possibly being retained in a different role and also what you think about Mike Tomlin possibly loosening the reins on this building a little bit and not trying to micromanage everything and what that could possibly mean for your favorite team in the NFL, the Pittsburgh Steelers. So until next time, I'm Jason. Peace.